Meanwhile, the U.S. company New Fortress Energy says it had entered into an agreement with the Sri Lankan government to acquire 40% ownership of the Yugadanavi power plant in Kiravalapitiya. In a statement on the official website, New Fortress Energy announced that they have signed an agreement to construct a new LNG terminal off the coast of Colombo and a pipeline to the Kiravalapitiya power complex. The statement adds that the 310 megawatts of power is operational at the Yugadanavi plant today and an additional 700 megawatts is scheduled to be built, of which 350 megawatts is scheduled to be operational by 2023. <laughs> I am expecting the Minister of Power to deliver a statement in Parliament regarding this. But, according to Treasury sources, we have learned that there is a framework agreement, but an agreement has not been reached on that. We expect the Minister of Power to deliver a statement in Parliament on this. Meanwhile, the Engineers' Union of the Ceylon Electricity Board has called for the agreement to be suspended. America's New Fortress does not want only 40% of the West Coast power plant. They want a long-term contract to supply LNG to the country. This is the biggest transaction to take place recently. LNG is transported through the red ship. There is another ship beside it. That is a floating barge. It does 5% of the work here. The business here is the contract to purchase LNG in the spot market. The US company is aware of this. Therefore, they are trying to bring these infrastructure facilities under their control and earn funds that are equal to 10 terminals. We have a policy on energy. It says that the relevant facilities and the pipeline operations must be carried out by the government. Therefore, if this falls into their hands, and if they decide to suspend operations of the pipelines and the terminals, how will our country function? Our country will be left in the dark.